I've had to step up as a rep because our previous reps, all of them, apart from one, are no longer employed by the company. Um, they all got sacked or they either got sacked or have ongoing disciplinary action against them. Essentially, it's trade union victimization. We just cannot tolerate any company in this city, in this country, not paying a living wage. That's the first step. The second step is that we will not tolerate any company that victimises trade unionists. That's just a bottom line. As an employer, if you want to undermine the union, the first tactic you usually use is to sack the shop stewards. It isn't rocket science. This has happened time and time again. So what we've got to do now is teach this company the history of trade unionism in this country is that when employers do that, it makes us more determined, not less. In 1996, the Ritzing was our local independent cinema, which the community had campaigned to save. And then it was brought up by Picture House, and then Picture House was brought up by Cineworld. So Cineworld are trading off a local independent reputation and a set of values and an ethos that they did not own to begin with and they are exploiting that for their, for their own gains. The campaign's been going about 10 years. When the campaign started, everyone here was paid minimum wage. Uh, over time, they've, they've, that, that's increased through, through the victories that they've won, uh, but they're still not paid the, the London living wage. So it started at this site, but now we have six sites uh, across London, including Brighton as well, uh, and we're looking to try and spread the campaign further and further. The Curzon pay the living wage, ICA, BFI, they're our nearest sort of art house competitors, effectively. Crouch End has an art house cinema next door, and they pay their living wage, it's literally next door. We actually had that our annual uh, pay negotiation uh, last week, uh, uh, in which we turned up and we submitted our pay claim, which outlines the things that we're asking for, which is living wage, sick pay, maternity pay, fairly basic things. Um, we, set, we submitted that on the 1st of June, and we went in for our negotiation last week, and when we turned up, they hadn't even even read the claim. They didn't even have it. The top demands is the living wage. London living wage, 9.75 an hour. And obviously, for pictures that aren't in London, it would be the national living wage. Maternity, paternity adoption pay. Uh, better health and safety in the buildings. We want our reps back now. And also, um, a better holiday pay system. We're having a big issue at the moment with our holiday pay. Um, where the managers have made loads of mistakes telling us we have holiday left and um, telling us to hurry up and use our holiday by the end of June. But the fact is, they then tell us after saying we have holiday, sorry you have no holiday left, you have to pay us back or work for free. And many staff are really upset by that. For Brighton and some sites, some better computer systems, the current computer system keeps breaking down and keeps failing. Union recognition of Beck 2. Currently we're the only site that has that. The other sites, they have a kind of bogus union. The staff generally have chosen Beck 2 as a union, not a forum, which is an apparent union um, set up um, by the company, but it's not really a fully recognised union. The only way that wages in this city are going to increase is, is if enough people stand up and say, no, this is not acceptable. We're in one of the richest countries of the world, in one of the richest cities of the world. The cleaners at LSE, who fought a long running struggle to be, in, to be brought back in house rather than having terms and conditions that were under attack. And they fought a long running campaign, overwhelmingly women, all from migrant or black and minority ethnic backgrounds. They were persecuted, they had everything thrown at them, and they won. They won. And just as they won, just as they won, you're going to win as well. We're asking people to boycott the picture house, so don't come to the cinema here. There are other cinema ch chains that do pay their staff the living wage. We're asking people not to come and drink in the bars or eat food in the, the cafes here. Today we had a world premiere in Hackney for the East London Film Festival. They decided to move it to the Rich Mix Cinema and completely take it out of Picture House as a result of the strikes, to the best of my knowledge. Um, and the Human Rights Film Festival are saying if we're still on strike, they're not going to um, go to Picture House and have their film festival there either. For the last two weeks, uh, we've been helping to support a community picket outside of uh, the Ritzy Cinema. 
uh, and it's been going every evening for the last two weeks in the weekdays. On the days that we strike here at the Ritz, the cinema closes, so there's no customers coming here. And obviously while we're working, we can't talk about the campaign to customers while we're on shift because we'll be instantly sacked. So, um, so it's quite hard for us to actually engage in a discussion with, with customers. If you do want to show some practical solidarity, um, from 5.30 till 7 every evening, uh, there'll be a community picket outside the Ritzy. So please, if you've got any time at all, uh, apparently it's making quite a big difference to their trade, uh, do come along, because like I said, the solidarity from the community is very important. So even if you can give half an hour of your time, uh, do try and come along to one of those pickets. On behalf of Jeremy and myself, what we'll try to do is give all the support we possibly can from the Labour Party. We'll seek to ensure that this is raised in Parliament. We'll try to ensure that this company recognises it won't be just the trade union movement they're taking on, or one individual union, or one group of, of workers. It's the whole of the labour and trade union movement that if we have to come here on a regular basis to shut this place down, we certainly will. Solidarity.